Hello, I am back with a video of the most recent um, mash plates. This is mash 51 through 75. Yes, 75. Confused myself there for a minute. I've been so excited by my MoU plates that I totally forgot to do this. And as you can see, I've been using them. So I apologize that the images won't be, you know, on, on some of these. It's not pristine and beautiful. Um, and I hope you will forgive me for that. But I think you can still see... Um, what they are even though I've used them a little bit. So this is uh, this is MASH 51 and I've already done a manicure with the QR code and I will um, link it into the blog post where I put the stills um, along with some triangles. A cute little French one there that I, it reminds me of Space Invaders a little bit. Here is MASH 52 and we've got some pretty um, snow and um, a couple more French. They they do some they do more French um, designs in here than I've seen on some of the other sets recently. Um, this is Mash fifty three. I love this maze. I love this Art Deco y kind of um, French tip design. Here is Mash fifty four. Um, I like this with the kind of like one of those holders for necklaces. It's pretty cool. I love this bat this um really romantic kind of script and you've got some lips and some love um here is mash 55 cool um a asian themed images on this one cool pagoda um a different kind of dragon i don't have anything quite like those and i love that mandala here is mash 56 i'm always in the market for skulls so anything rock and roll and skully that you can give me i'm i'm down and then i like this this is um I don't know it just has this really it has a very kind of soothing feel it reminds me of kind of like music waves or something which i guess is probably what they're going for given all the music so go figure uh here is mash 57 i love um this with the it's it's almost like feathers going out into the distance and this reminds me of webbing or netting love it Okay, MASH 58. This reminds me a little bit more of kind of tribal Mayan sort of, of look. And um, this is, I, okay, this to me looks like a cross between a uh, sort of tribal Native American headdress and a Viking headdress. It's kind of cool. It's kind of wacky. I like it. Here is MASH 59. We've got beach stuff going on there, some bikinis. Um, same kind of images you've seen on other plates, but, you know, a little bit different, and variety is nice. I even hear it's the spice of life. Here's MASH 60. I like this globe and how it looks almost hand-drawn. Uh, and then a couple of different flourishy, leafy things. MASH 61. Um, a ladybug, easy ladybug, beautiful flowers. I used this one on a fall leaf manicure already. I will link that in the post as well puzzle pieces and circles um mash 63 i like these different kinds of designs this goes back matches that other plate and then we've got some celtic looking stuff here this uh mash 64 is very has a very southwestern feel to me it it, it reminds me of um the sort of artwork i see in places like uh santa fe Here's Mash 65. This has um, this is a, this has an Egyptian feel, but it's not you know like a classically precise Egyptian feel. It's a little bit more stylized and a little bit more fun. So um, I like that it has that that slightly different kind of vibe to it. Um, cool leaves, and uh, I guess I'm going by kind of like the safari element here. That maybe this is supposed to be like a stylized African print. Um, love the compass. Here is MASH 67. I adore this. I love the um, the kind of comic book boom and pow. And I've got, um, and I love the fingerprint. I love, um, I've got stuff that I definitely want to do with these with a couple of other plates that I have, combine and play with them. Um, and I'm a, I'm a Sharks fan. It's a hockey team. And they do that shark biting thing um, as part of their whole shtick. So I'm going to use that. Here we have something a little bit more Christmassy, a couple of snowflakes and some trees and um, you know your favorite little Christmas sweater there. You got some designs for that. Here is MASH 69. I love this hand palm print 
And um, for those of you who like the look um, when people do like the little studs, you can get it without actually doing the studs with that. And the zipper, the bicycle. Here is MASH 70, cute shoes. And I guess this is a lady's evening gown, a man's tuxedo. And for night on the town, you've got to have the, the skyline. And then for later in the night, right, the sexy stockings. So a lot of potential there. MASH 71, we have kind of the corset or it could be shoes with the stringing. Really pretty little design there. Um, some swirly stuff and another diamond to go with the smaller diamond on the other plate. Um, I like these. It's almost like bubbles or dots coming together. So if you like that kind of look but you're not so good with the dot cures, sometimes dots are not my friend. This is a good way to do that or at least use it as a guide and then put the dots on top of it and then you'll kind of get more of the pattern you want. I always have these great ideas for dot cures and I started out and then it's like lopsided or gross and it just never works and that's a good way to, to make sure that you get it where you want it. I've done a manicure with this. I actually used it as a half moon and I will link that in the blog post and this goes with that other beehive um, image so you can play with those and there was another kind of cracked glass earlier on in the set. Um, MASH 73 uh, 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 card games Old West maybe I guess and then you've got your western shirt and uh, a cool that's a pretty cool nail tip to go with the whole card game deal um, and then some drippy stuff on a little nail tip there. Dinosaurs, MASH 74, dinosaurs. You've got the erupting volcano, which of course maybe might be what made them extinct, right? And then I love this little flowery pattern here. Um, and then last but not least is MASH 75. I adore this little woman. She reminds me of kind of like a shampoo commercial um, and, I, and feet and, you know, just a few other things. Okay, so that is the newest MASH set. Let me get one of the ones with the full nail design images and I'll show you the comparison with Conad. So these are pretty similar in size. And um, I will link you to a size comparison chart so you can get a little bit more information on whether or not this will be good for you. And then the last thing I will say about these is you see I have used them. They stamp beautifully. It's not there. I haven't had any problems with them. Um, in terms of the set, I think they're... There are a lot of images here that you may have similar images. Some are absolutely new and very, very different, um, like this, very different, not like anything I've seen on other plates. Um, but there's some things that are, that are repeats. You know, you probably have something like that. You probably have, um, you know, some leaves. You probably have, uh, like when I come back to here, you probably have an image that's got hearts and you probably got a kind of a diamond image. There's enough new stuff here that I think that this is worth investing in, especially for the price. And also some of the stuff that you have here that you might have similar images in other sets, there's a little bit of a twist. So I don't think it's the most unique set that I've seen ever or that I've seen, you know, in a while, but I think it's a good solid set of good quality and I think it, it gives you um, some different options. Okay, all the information will be linked down below. Thanks for watching. See you soon.